Hi everybody, we're back with another 10 of the best online science videos, this time with a holiday twist. So sit back, grab a warm beverage, and let's go. First up, twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, except maybe these bees. Bees usually perform a waggle dance to tell their colony mates where to find food. But scientists recently found that sleep-deprived bees make for sloppy dancers. More than just embarrassing themselves at parties, it turns out these dancers give their colony mates bad directions. At number 9, Santa doesn't need elves to build this gadget, it builds itself. Under the right conditions, rods of carbon and nitrogen can combine with cobalt atoms to form a hexagonal cage with movable rotor blades. No assembly required. When the temperature is just right, the rotor spins. Simple molecular machines like these might be useful as tiny mechanical switches in nano devices. At number eight, if unwrapping presents is too much of a bother, these micro satellites might be just up your alley. These space shields are made of mylar plastic and can be tightly packed into a cube so they can be included in missions at very little cost. Once released, they can deploy themselves. The shields are designed to help defend satellites and other spacecraft against dust-sized meteoroids tiny cousins of asteroids. Next up, if you want a white Christmas, you don't have to rely on Mother Nature. Why not grow your own snowflakes? These snowflakes were grown in a lab on the tips of needles made of ice. By controlling the electric fields through the needles, the shape of the snowflakes can be altered. Nobody knows exactly why every snowflake is unique, but this research could help unravel the mystery. Number six takes us from snowflakes in the lab to a giant snowball in space. NASA's Deep Impact Probe recently had a rendezvous with Comet Hartley 2. Here we see a time-lapse video of the encounter. And this picture was taken when the probe flew through a snowstorm of ice particles thrown off by expanding gases on the sunny side of the comet. Deep Impact completed its original mission in 2005, but is still operational and has been wandering the solar system ever since. Halfway, here are the top five. At number five, it might be time for Santa to upgrade his old sleigh. Commercial spaceflight took a big leap forward earlier this month as the private firm SpaceX successfully launched one of its Dragon capsules into orbit. Previous launches have achieved suborbital altitudes, but this marks the first private space capsule to reach orbit and return. SpaceX capsules are due to start flying to the International Space Station in 2011 and could eventually replace the space shuttle. Now, rockets may be fast, but they sure ruin the old carbon footprint. A better alternative for today's eco-friendly Santa might be... snakes. The number four video this month shows flying snakes in action. The Wright brothers they are not, but these flying snakes were recently shown to generate enough lift to overcome gravity. If allowed to glide long enough, they would eventually start flying upwards. It's a surprising feat for such an unlikely animal, and shows that flying isn't just for the birds. Speaking of birds, a new online database has just cataloged the songs of over 3,000 species from around the world. It has swans a-swimming, geese a-laying, four collie birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and of course a partridge in a pear tree. The database could help scientists preserve the songs of species that are in danger of extinction. Now this next one might be a little too much if you're a bit squeamish. At number two, nothing says Christmas dinner like a tasty ham, carved up by robots. This Japanese machine makes deboning ham look simple. Since bones usually come in all shapes and sizes, the task usually requires skilled workers. But its makers claim that this robot can process up to 500 hams per hour the help of just a few people. It may soon find its way into food processing factories in both Europe and Japan. Well, if ham's not really your thing, this month's number one clip shows there are all kinds of alternatives for the old holiday feast. Rotting whale carcass, anyone? Dead whales aren't normally the mark of a good party, but nothing could be more welcome for these deep sea creatures. Researchers at the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute in California sank whale carcasses to observe how they decompose over a number of years. They discovered lots of new species of crabs, anemones, snails, and bone-eating worms. Most of the nutrients are in the bones, so it turns out that the bone-eating worms determine the length of this deep-sea feast. 
Depending on depth, temperature, currents, and of course the worms, the party can last from 10 to 100 years. Well, that's it for this month. We'll be back in the new year, but in the meantime, we'd love to hear from you. If you've seen a cool science video online, or you just want to say hi, you can hit us up on Twitter or YouTube, or drop a comment on our New Scientist TV blog. For New Scientist TV in San Francisco, I'm McGregor Campbell. Thanks for watching, and happy holidays.